For those who don't know me too well, I'm an old Hurricane pilot and Wellington and Liberator pilot, and uh, I flew with uh, in Italy with uh, some of the boys here. Um, I'm a poet like the other John Bailey. I'm John Bailey Mark II. <laughs> and um, this is a poem about a, a preacher up, up north who, um, who we call the Flying Dogma. <laughs> and there it goes, he was called the Flying Dogma, though never to his face. And he preached the Holy Gospel in the God-forsaken place where heathens roam a plenty, while saints are few indeed. And a single end in Cessna was the flying dogma's steed. From the town of Mekathara, somewhat hotter there than hell, through the Nangajara country, out past Warburton as well, Warakurna, Wingelina, in the burning desert sand, yes, the flying dogma's parish was the broadest in the land. He was ancient and decrepit, weather beaten by the sun, vision blurred and hard of hearing, but he stood aside for none. And he kept that aircraft flying through the very power of prayer, while he spouted fire and brimstone after sinners everywhere. Now I met the flying doctor by coincidence or fate at a place called Papalankucha in 1988. He was sipping holy water because he'd had a busy day, hounding Satan through the outback in his customary way. He was eloquent and forceful, quoting scriptures by the score, after saving several sinner souls and searching round for more. And he asked me just in passing if I'd felt the holy power, and I hastily assured him it grew stronger by the hour. <laughs> and he sensed my hesitation, for he knew the devil's ways, and he launched a lurid lecture with a torrid turn of phrase. Then he ended with a challenge, for salvation was his goal, Fly with me to Th Mekathara, thus to sanctify thy soul. Well, I've sat a bucking Brumby, though admittedly half full, and I earned my reputation when I rode that Brahmin bull. I've wrestled with a crocodile and didn't bat an eye, but I call myself a bushman, and he's asking me to fly. <laughs> Premonitions of disaster should never be ignored, and my heart was pumping faster as I slowly climbed aboard. Then he started up the engine with a flourish and a prayer, and we hit the wild blue yonder like a mongrel hits a hare. <laughs> All the clamor and confusion left me queasy in the gut, and I held my concentration with my eyes completely shut. <laughs> then he shouted, fire a volley, and my jaw began to droop as he sent her skimming skyward in a crazy loop the loop. We were lurching over to the left, then racing to the right, like a syncopated serpent in a spasm of delight. Then a cast catastrophic cartwheel with a shudder fore and aft, and I howled in desperation, but the flying dogma laughed. And while I froze in terror, he was energized with mirth as we hit the heights of heaven and then plummeted to earth. Then I swore my days were numbered when he swung us full around, but you can't embrace the devil when you're flying upside down. <laughs> The blood was rushing to my head and my brain began to freeze and I glimpsed the flying dogma looking perfectly at ease. He waved across as if to say, don't panic, she'll be right. And I would have answered back that I was paralyzed with fright. <laughs> at last he drew a level with a surreptitious smile. Take the dual controls, he bellowed. I'll be resting for a while. Then he pointed down below us to the gun barrel highway. That'll lead us to Willuna, but you'll have to learn to pray. Well, I naturally protested, but before the words were said, he was hunkered in his harness, fast asleep, or was he dead? <laughs> he was surely pushing 80, and his face was white as chalk, and I couldn't see him breathing, and I couldn't make him talk. I was sweating hard and heavy like a hyperactive hog, and I hastily decided it was time to quit the grog. <laughs> Scientific lights and levers, like a brain without a voice. I could never tame the monster, but I had no flame and choice. Now, I've never been religious, and I'm not a man of prayer, but I'll tell you, things are different, 50 fathoms in the air. Yes, I felt the power of glory, and I saw the golden light. Then I shouted, hallelujah, when Willuna came in sight. I was singing Rock of Ages like the leader of the band, but a sudden revelation 
how the devil do I land? <laughs> then a stirring close beside me as we cross the salty lake. Praise the Lord and paint the town. The flying dog was awake. He took control and landed just as gentle as a bird. And he looked at me and nodded, but he never said a word. And although I'm still a scoundrel, and I guess I'll never stop, when others choose to hit the booze, I rarely touch a drop. Now many years have disappeared, and though it's hard to say, as I haven't heard a mention, I suppose he's passed away. But I bet my bottom dollar he's pursuing his career, flying loop-the-loops in heaven like he used to do down here. On stormy winter evenings when you're snuggled up in bed with a steaming mug of cocoa and a blanket around your head and shutters shake and shudder and the hound begins to howl, it's just to let you know the flying dogma's on the prowl. <laughs>